Well, let's just get right to the players and hear what they had to say, because some of what I was about to say is already in here. What do we got? From Magnegro. Brian, here we go, is a good friend and training partner. So this should be a good match no matter the result. I'm dedicating this match to my son for team. <laughs> Trust in the do-rag. Trust in the do-rag. Uh, by the way, he also got ninth at CEO mm -hmm. just this past weekend. Fantastic play. Just outside the, the distance, but let's see what he does today. Now, let's talk about Brian F. What you got? Greg was one of the first people to ever support my streaming journey by helping me get a capture card in 2015. Now he will reap what he sold. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to make payoff. content out of you. I'm going to make content out of you. <laughs> <laughs> the goofy image and everything. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How I beat Mag Negro. <laughs> uh, okay, seeing that without all caps makes a lot more sense. 4H Tim, uh, shout outs. Okay. Uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm absolutely expecting this to be Boxer. It's probably going to be Birdie on the other side as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what Mag Negro has been playing with a long time. He has also spent some other time here to talk about Brian playing Oro. I've mm -hmm. seen Mag Negro use a bunch of other characters. Uh, Dalsum comes to mind. Poison There's, at some point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah he's definitely yeah. dabbled around here and there. But when it comes down to it, it's the Birdie. And that's what we saw at CEO as well. Yeah, it is. And uh, anybody that's been playing that character definitely has uh, been try to squeeze everything out of the rock that is that character sure. because you don't get to play the wallsy button style anymore with that character. Everything's a lot more whiff punishable, reactable. Sure. Uh, you don't get uh, as much in terms of damage situations. So uh, he uses V-Skill too yeah. in some of the matchups. I like that he's been exploring what, other, what else the character can do. Uh, let's see if he can uh, explore Brian F's face right here. Woo! This is going to be a great one because it's like long time, you know, friends right here. Right, yeah, yeah. You'll be seeing layers upon layers. That's kind of this whole bracket. And maybe for a lot of the regions because they've been playing each other for, you know, consistent amount. Just layers upon layers. Let's see, walks away with it. Round Whoa. start with a B skill. No punish, though. A little bit too late with it. Oh, what Brian a ballsy move. Uh-oh. And so he's established it already. Hmm. He's already got it. There it is. He can just be walking around, bring out the dash punch. You never know when. There it is. And he chooses to go right back into it. The Dempsey roll. It's a strong tool, even on block with the plus range. Oh. Allowing that extension, that corner push, too. At least a counter poke that from Magnegro, but oh, here's, yes, oh. he is in range. Yeah, Magnegro's trying to walk up a little bit closer. He gets knocked off the EX. Gonna find a crush off the heavy. Ah, Brian. Mm. He's got mm. the EX. Yeah. 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 Had the bar to finish it. Brian F with the first one. And just a lot of it was the V skill put. That V skill too, doing the most. Once, you get, the, once you get the V skill, mm -hmm. once you're there, you just get to keep going, right? Like you, you can you can sort of snowball right back into it, mm -hmm. just like this. You got it. The other player, they have to deal with what comes next. I check in the dash, crushing light. But that puts his base style with the crush coming through. I like Brian F immediately utilizing the priority system right there with the fierce. Mmm, big stolen turn, Magnugro not there. And that's his first jump attempt. Didn't work out, of course. Brian was ready. Trying to walk him down. But difficult to Ooh. do. Offers in the EX. Sucks with the V skill immediately. Recovers in time to stay fine. V reversal with nine of those plus frames. Brian F. Okay, that's it. It's really close on life. And Magnugro, I mean, he's got a lot of damage available. He's got a fast character on deck right now. Not there on the whiff punish. I mean, this birdie, this birdie pumps out damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, okay. Locked on the approach with the V skill. No confirming the medium. Brian spending a bunch of red bar. Ooh, what's oh. it? He will oh go for that. Oh boy. That could have been real bad. A good upper. Brian out of there. Damage. No more red meter. Well, he he steals a big chance. <laughs> Into nothing. Okay, you can do EXs again. 15 on the clock. Dash up, check, we'll trade it, I should say. Brian F in the lead, but call for the corner. Oh! The raw sweep! Off the feet, looking like a janitor. He really went for it. He really did. He really went for it. <laughs> Round start, EX to free Willy. <laughs> Negro with the decisions. But I feel like some of that came from, <gasps> no. Oh, but okay. It ends up working out for Brian, who just like that has pressure. Spends the EX, grab. <gasps> oh, the back dash though from Magnigro. Fear Bristol puts it back in the corner. Okay, Fits that's actually style. okay for Magnigro. Now he can activate and he gets plus frames. Into not much. 
Need to make the magic happen. I feel like this walk speed, you can walk back and forth a lot more to make these dash punches a lot more minus or with and find a punish. The medium punch on the deck. I mean, you can see Brian's strategy right now is just to whittle away. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of helping. chip damage here. Get a little bit of chip damage there. Yeah, just this kind of thing, right? Oh, okay. Counter hit. These skills have so much damage in the follow-up to do it. Brian F, as you pointed out, wheeling away at the health. The V skill too being a big pain point. Magnegro having to take a lot of risk in not always finding reward. And that's sort of the problem we're finding right here. We're not finding that big boy damage that, that Birdie can't pump out. Some of these risks just haven't had anything behind them. And Magnegro just not able to get going with the with that Wallsy style. That's what is happened to the character. That Wallsy style, you can't do it as, as much, you know? I just love Brian's decision making. His defensive choice. Oh no. no. Right back into the V-Skill. And his neutral game, it wasn't even that much about pressure, to be honest. He had like one significant pressure series. Other than that, it was really him playing neutral. He holds on to the V-Shift this time. Yeah, we're just playing some nice and patient neutral, trying to find a form of the light. Didn't find anything there. Can he walk up? Nope. Looking for Roundhouse instead, but slowly pushing Brian backwards, even though taking it... Well, here he is! Yeah, we, yeah this is what you need. You put this character up in the corner, run the command grab, uh, mix. Brady's got some of the grossest corner pressure in the business. Heavy kick command grabs, all those things like that. The range that you can play at, but it's not happening here. Brian F working his way out of the corner. Max range on the dash bar, so minus four. Yeah, Brian's out of there. Happy to give up the V-meter. Man, you go just individual hits? I mean, his style's so cool as well. You know, you talked about some risks. He did have some risks, but in that round, that man was planted on the ground. Well, as he jumps, but like, <laughs> not not in range to be anti-aired, right? He is mm -hmm. he is playing such a good grounded footsies game. Oh no! Some mistakes from both sides. Finds a jump in, runs the ex, get that knockout situation. And I like the choice of the buttons: light, medium. Every so often, the crush with a heavy kick. That's what I'm talking about. Brian is in trouble. Okay, Brian's out of there at least. Gotta go for the brakes. Slow him down a bit. But the crouch community kick also has been doing a good job of catching the walk-ins too as well. What are these whip command grabs? Oh man. He did have super. That Brian barely there. lives. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Magnegro just hanging out. We're going to be in the corner, though. Crush. Fist to face. A throw. Oh, my God. Brian F pulls it back. No too far. That would have been EX upper. I think that would have reached on the activation. Oh, Bro, okay. Super, the super is available. Oh, and Brian F goes for his first. Brian F. After all the spaghetti, but he was still ready. I think he had it. He could have. He, he could have. Yeah. Expensive win for Brian F, but still, that's still a, uh, something where it might deter Magnetro in this round. Match point. Ready for the jump this time with Brian. Here's the whip mm. punish from Magnetro who gets the corner out of it. Almost. That's what we used to see from Magnetro. A lot more whip punishes off the medium and things like that. Always ready with the buttons. Making you outspace yourself. Not that. Oh, he actually caught the second part. The confidence behind those buttons. Where's the confidence from Magnetro? There we go. EX puts him in the corner. Clips him low. The back dash was there for Brian. Is he going to turn it in? Is he going to go in? No. Backs off just like that. What's those plus frames? A little positivity. That's what Magnet Girl wants to activate with, but you know Brian would have come out. <gasps> oh, he's oh, there in time. Life lead now for Brian. <gasps> Can he back dashes? He knew exactly, oh. exactly what Magnet Girl wanted. Of course you want to get the bull and you want to get the activation. Of course you do. Of course. <sighs> That's the kind of defense that I'm talking about from Brian. It's not just about you block and then do you have universal or whatever, right, right? Right, right. It's the preemptive stuff. It's knowing what's coming up mm -hmm. and not being for it. 